For me, being a geek and passionate about technology and entrepreneurship and then making a the switch to somewhat to food was interesting. You came from tech and got into food and I've come from food and now getting into tech. Yeah, totally. Impact became a big thing that I care about over the last couple of years in terms of like what difference can we really make on current generation and future generations. If you want to eat healthy, you want to live healthy, you want to learn about what you put in your body in terms of food, a hackathon may be a way of doing that in terms of help curating ideas. Hack is sort of a euphemism for rethink, reinvent question the status quo. What I've been impressed by is the fact that a problem somewhere in one pod becomes a solution in another pod. And there's people in this room who can put two and two together. The term hacking means taking it apart and then putting it back together in a new way. The hackathon model is great for food because it's really difficult to bring a lot of those individuals together. One of the great things that they do is they provoke new ways to think about the future. There are so many different people from so many different angles that everybody has a role. So I think that there's not a sense of isolation, there's a sense of inclusion. If we were all alone in our rooms or in our offices, I don't think we'd have the same drive. Food is a very personal, intimate, and powerful issue that connects communities. That passion can easily be translated over to the solutions and how they're focusing on what those might be. We are at a great crossroads right now where consumers have unparalleled access to food information, but we are also at a point in our culture where actually many consumers don't have any sense of the most basic kind of nutritional needs. Both the one in April and this hackathon allows me to think out of the box in terms of actually looking at a serious problem and thinking of an innovative way to solve it. Having an idea, leaving the building to go research our idea, and coming back to find out that we had two customers. That was mind-blowing. For me, cooking is very similar to hacking. So when I approach a hackathon or building a product, I really want to look at what are all of the resources I have and how can I maximize the best product possible. When you come to events like this, you're going to be inspired. It's going to take innovation, it's going to take a community, it's going to take a village, it's going to take hacking, it's going to take technology to solve those problems. And that's something we're doing with Food Hackathon.